We're here in the ruins of Moyil, also known as the Lost City of Moyil. This was an incredible and important centerpiece of trade for the Mayan Empire. Because of its location on Moyil Lagoon, it served as an outpost for trade, but also as a port city. The Mayans built a phenomenal canal, which enabled them to move supplies from this area back and forth. It was essentially the entry point for all of the goods and all of the resources that would come in from various other areas, as well as other civilizations. I'm here with Christina. This is her first tour of Moyil. And we're gonna walk around and get a sense of these temples, get a sense of these ruins, and appreciate the gravity of this place. It's gorgeous here. We have perfect weather, the jungle is alive, the birds are chirping, and we're gonna take in the sights and sounds of the native forest. Let's go check it out. This. This structure is referred to as the castle, and it is considered to be one of the holiest sites in the entire park. This was the pinnacle. This was the main religious centerpiece. And today, as it sits here, commanding in its size and scale, it's absolutely captivating. You'll notice all of these angles are still perfect, which means they had brilliant engineering. They had architects masonry workers, mathematicians. A thriving civilization. It's all inspiring. It's pretty intense, isn't it? Yeah. Does it make you think about how brilliant and sophisticated that civilization must have been to build something like that it's pretty astonishing right like and probably the amount of time it took for them to make this with a large group of people getting them to do the same thing this is the thing like you're standing where thousands of people used to stand before a sacrifice like it's just pretty you can feel the energy These are pretty steep steps for short people. Like the Mayans were known to be short, but these steps, if you take a look, they're pretty steep even for average sized people, but. It's a long way to the top. Yeah. blows my mind to think about how perfectly this was constructed given what resources they had at the time. Moving all of this stone by hand, stacking it, cutting it, shaping it, forming it, and painting it. You can see some of the paint is still here. When they excavated this, you'll notice there's those two cranes Every little piece of this temple holds a secret. This place has a very special energy to it. It's quiet, it's peaceful, tranquil, and at the same time, it has a very strong presence. It really feels like you're not alone when you walk through these woods. And I'm not talking about Christina. You have to think about all the people who lived here, the lives they had, the love they shared, the pain they suffered, the struggles they endured.
Look at this tree. Ever seen a tree like that? What's particularly special about this structure is that a series of chambers exists within that main house that you see there. And you'll notice there's that small hole that opens up and another one just above it. That lets light and air circulation to the inner chambers of this particular building. It's a sprawling structure and you can see the foundations of other small structures that were all around it. They've done a beautiful job excavating this place to really capture the energy of it, but it still holds that magic of the jungle. What do you think? No word. Awe-inspiring, isn't it? Very. How many times have you been here, Charlie? I think this is my 10th or 11th time visiting Moyil. It's just How one of those- Breathless. It leaves me speechless every single time that I come here. It's just absolutely extraordinary. What was this, a sacrificial offering area? Or? So this was probably an altar. Normally when you see structures like this in front of a temple or a large area, which has an offering platform on top of it, this is where they would place special items, commemorative items that they would offer to the gods. This structure shows two distinct constructive phases and its principal facade orients to the north. Both temples, which use fragments of stucco to hold everything together. Bit of paint. You'll notice there's a little bit of remnants of the blues, the reds, the yellows, and even a little bit of black paint if you look really, really close. There's a little hole. If you look. Pointing towards the temple. The foundations of these structures are all over this place. This was a very elaborate, sprawling region. And this particular area of the ruins was obviously very important. There's a house back here, or some other form of important structure, and you can still see the entranceway. Look how perfectly level it is. Corners are still sharp. If you look down this way, you'll notice it lines up with all those other buildings that are right out there. Mm. This whole area was planned and laid out very methodically. No haphazard anything around here. You can kind of see the, what's left of this structure here. I think this was a wall. That was definitely a wall. That wall kind of runs all the way out around the entire perimeter this area.
to imagine what this was. Well, there's stairs coming in from all four sides. What do you think? Hard to know. Well, that's it for the ruins on this particular segment. Now comes the fun part. Just kidding, the ruins are really fun. But we're now gonna take a little hike through the jungle. We're gonna take a board walk through the wetlands. We're gonna be looking for monkeys, blue Morpheus butterflies, all kinds of lizards, some interesting cichlids and fish. And then we're gonna take a boat across the Moyo Lagoon. The boardwalk itself, however, is absolutely gorgeous. The jungle is thick, alive, and lush. And down at the edge of this trail, we get started. It's so peaceful back here. Absolutely majestic. Poho de agua, the eye of water. These water holes are actually fed by the underground river system here, which exists under the entirety of the Yucatan. Those are the cenotes in the caves that we were diving yesterday. Did you enjoy your cave dives yesterday, Christina? They were amazing. Wow. She did a really great job. The water level is actually really low right now. It hasn't been raining. We're not seeing a lot of flooding. That's good because it means there's less mosquitoes. We'll just go out here, though. Bring your bug spray. You kind of see the entrance that goes down underground right there, that hole. Last time I was here, this was all flooded out. This boardwalk was basically underwater and we had to go trudging through this to get down to the lagoon. And it was buggy. Mosquito Central. You better believe it. Christina, what are you doing? Where did you get that sandwich? How did you, where did you get? We're in the middle of the jungle. Where did you get a sandwich? Did you bring that with you? There's no need to tell secrets here. She's so hungry. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Perfect. You ready for a boat ride? Yeah. Un poquito, estoy aprendiendo. ¿Y tú hablas inglés? Hablo un poco. Un poquito. Perfecto. Mi nombre es Charlie, Carlito. Y esto es Abner. Abner. Mucho gusto, Abner. El gusto es mío. Ok, me regalas un minuto. Voy a la oficina. Por favor. Nos vamos. Gracias. Gracias a ti. Looks like our ride. Now that's a panga, one of my favorite Mexican boats. Hop on in. You're gonna have to put a life jacket on, young lady. These are rough waters. Look at that water. So this is Moyo Lagoon, and we're about to take a panga all the way across to a channel made by the Mayans in order to move resources on small boats from the sea, inland, into the city of Moyo. It was made by hand, just keep that in mind. This lagoon is actually fresh water. It looks like a bay, it looks like salt, but it's fresh water, which is amazing considering the ocean is just over the horizon. You ready to go? Ready. Let's go. Gracias. Abner, say hello. Hola. 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 Welcome. That's my friend Abner. Yeah. He's a captain and fisherman as well. He knows the way. 
going to take us to this beautiful place on earth. It's gorgeous out here. And we're going to go all the way across the bay. We're going to go through a Mayan canal. It's Christina's first time here. She's going to love it. First timer. Abner wouldn't crash the boat. He knows where he's going. This is my main canal. Es tu amigo. Es mi amigo. Yeah. <laughs> It's your friend too. Mm, sí. Yeah, exactly. Christina okay. attracts the birds. Okay, guys. Um, Almost there. You don't stop. You do need. You live in the boat. This was the trading post. Exactly. This uh, is a place of the Maya. They have a control of the commerce. You know. Call it Shlapak. Shlapak. This was like the toll. This was where you had to go in and check in. You couldn't just show up and run goods. You had to go through here. Just careful inside. Oh yeah. Snakes. Snakes. What? Why did it have to be snakes? Bad. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like a 7-Eleven. <laughs> See the light? See there's a hole back there for light this and air was circulation. Classic. Was classic and uh, the Maya. After the thousand years ago, thousand eight. It could be uh, yeah. okay. Could uh, be insignia. Nah, this this one is a body of the crocodile. Oh wow! Oh. This one, this is a mouth and head, eyes and the whole body. Wow! You see it? Any crocodile in there? Yeah, this is the god they have in this area. They come to worship the god. Yeah, oh, wow. they need to go inside and like this. Pretty they need crazy. To make a reverence. Commerce door, shaman door, and fisherman. In this Just look on, be on the lookout for crocodiles. Crocodilas. <laughs> That's a branch. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find Crocodile. out here. Crocodile. You see a crocodile out here, you're gonna crocodile. <laughs> He's probably scared of us. Wait, why are you so much faster than me? Faster? You're floating faster than I am. I guess it's because I'm more buoyant. <laughs> I don't think so. That means you're dense. Oh! Haha, <laughs> zing! <laughs> it's kind of amazing to realize 
that the Mayans understood there was current here and that they could use the current to their advantage in order to move goods across little boats. Pretty spectacular, brilliant in their time. And the current here is moving. Yeah. Getting a nice ride. It's so peaceful and quiet here. That's what I really love about it. I know. You having a good time? Having a great time. You really enjoying your Mayan lazy river experience here Mayan in Moyo? Mayan diaper experience. I like you your I like your diaper. See these? It's fashionable. I'm gonna bring them back in fashion. If anyone could do it, it's definitely her. Whoa! Look at this. It's compacted by the roots. That's right. Whoa! And there's stone under here. That's right. Solid. Okay. Did you say you wish you had your sandwich? She's in this, you're recording. She's in this beautiful paradise and all she wants is her sandwich. You can hide, but I can still see you smiling and laughing over there. I guess it was a pretty good sandwich. Stop it. Hard to believe. Is Only in Tulum can you have experiences like this. An ancient canal, a pristine ecological reserve that you can only visit by floating in a life jacket down a lazy river that was dug over a thousand years ago. And it's actually pretty affordable to do this. It's about 50 bucks a person to explore the ruins and take a boat ride out here to the Sian Khan Bioreserve. Sian Khan, by the way, means gift from God. And boy, were they right. Gift from the heavens? Or gift from the heavens. Either way, I think that's where God lives. I'm going to go with gift from the heavens, but gift from God would make sense because Technically, God lives in heaven, I think. You guys tell me. I wouldn't know. You tell me. God, it's gorgeous here. Well, that's about it for our lazy river trip. Pretty exhilarating river. We made it to the end. I hope you've enjoyed this journey to Moyil, the ruins, the river, the majesty of the jungle. It's been an absolute privilege to take you with us on this journey today. I hope you come yourself. I really hope you get the chance to see it because there's just nothing else like it. We're going to go find some tacos and probably take a swim because why not? It's hot outside. Thanks for coming with us. We'll see you next time.